What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the world according to Briggs. Today I'm very excited. We're gonna do a video about one of my favorite states to make videos about, Idaho. Idaho is right here in case you thought everything north of California was actually Canada. It's actually a state. I sort of did growing up in Southern California. It was really weird. It was like at some point, probably around 13, I realized there was a lot of California after San Francisco too. It's weird. Anyway, last month I got a hold of the Atlas Mover study for 2020. It's a study done by moving companies, in this case Atlas, that details where every one moved to last year and where they're probably moving to this year. One of the top 10 states, again, this year is Idaho. The gem state has been gaining popularity for the last decade or so. It's one of the favorite landing spots for California refugees. You know those people in California that have had enough? The good news is for people in Idaho, not a lot of the liberal-minded people are heading your way. A large majority of the people moving to Idaho from California are conservative Republican-leaning fellow Americans like yourself. I know liberals are a big concern for the average Idaho resident Look at the comment section of any video I did about California or Idaho. It's like they have the same five comments, just different words are misspelled. But today we're going to look at the cheapest places in Idaho to buy a home. Now, I won't be including locations that nobody's moving to, like little towns out in the sticks where you could buy a home for like $10,000 in a case of beer. Those places nobody's moving to, so we won't be discussing them. This list is about cheap real estate in realistic places to move to for the average Joe. If you want a cheap place to get a mortgage in Idaho, you gotta start start with Number 10, Ammon, Idaho. Ammon is a smaller suburb just outside of Idaho Falls. The property prices are affordable and the average rent isn't too shabby either. It's about $761 for a two bedroom apartment. So like I said, it's affordable and it's less than an hour drive to get whatever you need in the larger city of Idaho Falls. There are 22 public schools in Ammon which have an A minus rating. That's solid, forming well above the national average. This is an excellent choice for people who wanna raise a family. It's safe, desirable, like I said, the schools don't suck, which is always good. This town will also offer you a very small chance of being run off the road for having a California license plate. So that's good. The median home price in Ammon is $167,000. Not bad. Number nine, Chubbuck, Idaho. This is a nice little town just north of Pocatello. I had a friend that lived there and said it's pronounced Pocatella but it's Pocatello. Anyway, Chubbuck has a little mall and a few shops, but not the best shopping. So you're going to find yourself venturing out of Chubbuck to get anything real and probably a lot of doctor's appointments and things like that. The crime rate is very low compared to other cities and everyone seems to know each other. So it's got that whole small town vibe. The best thing about Chubbuck is living so close to the schools. There are several decent schools, including public, private, and Montessori. This is a great town for kids. Everyone seems to be very polite and respectful of each other. Everything is also within walking distance, so that's good. My friend that lived there for like three years, he said if you move to Chubbuck, bring a date because they don't have any there. I thought that was pretty funny. The median home price in Chubbuck is $158,200. Number eight, Cuna, Idaho. Living in Cuna is living in one of the best cities in Idaho. And that's not a quote from a travel website. That's a quote from my friend's wife who grew up there in the 1990s. The crime rate is very low in Cuna, and that's probably because pretty much everyone is packing, which always seems to help keep the crime low. Funny how that works. Humans aren't willing to rob someone at an ATM if there's a decent chance the intended victim has a gun on them. You don't need to worry about getting jacked at an ATM in Cuna anyway. The crime is very low. The weather is great, and most of the people are able to afford to live in Cuna, which normally isn't the case. When you have low crime and great weather, it's usually really expensive. Now, there's quite a few restaurants and plenty of things to do there. Knowing where to go is a plus, and that way you don't waste time looking for things to do. Now, the only real knock on Cuna is the schools. They kind of suck statistically. The median home price in Cuna is $145,400. Not bad. Number seven, Twin Falls, Idaho. Twin Falls has a little extra crime and not such great schools, but the house prices are incredible. Twin Falls isn't the best city by Idaho standards, but let's say by Michigan standards, this place is like a resort. If you love the outdoors and you don't want a giant mortgage like you'd get in, I don't know, like Aspen, Colorado, this town is for you. Idaho is well known for its fishing and hunting, and there are a few places in the country that can actually match Twin Falls, the surrounding area too. There is a massive salmon run that comes up the Snake River every single year, which attracts a bunch of dudes that like to fish. There's also great skiing and snowboarding in the winter in a handful of resorts that are all within about an hour's drive of the place. The median home price in Twin Falls is $143,400. Not bad. And you get to go fishing. 
Number six, Pocatello, Idaho. Pocatello started out from a fort that was near where present-day Pocatello is now on the Oregon Trail. At first, it was a place for fur trappers where they could sell their pelts and buy supplies, but then when the fur industry cooled down, they switched to supplying the immigrants heading west on the Oregon Trail. See, what happened was the pelts were bought in Europe, mostly by the French, and then that fell out of fashion and just destroyed the industry in the United States. Pretty weird, huh? Thousands of immigrants passed through Idaho on the Oregon Trail, and nobody really stopped until they discovered gold in 1860. All of a sudden, people started putting on the brakes and stopping in Idaho. Like the magic of gold has done in other places, Idaho attracted settlers in large numbers and towns popped up, like Pocatello. The coming of the railroad provided even further development, you know, because next thing you know, they're pulling everything out of the ground because they can get it back east on the train, right? Makes sense. Kind of hard to wagon train a bunch of, I don't know, iron ore back to Wisconsin or something like that. Pocatello has some crime and the schools give out more Fs than a dude with Tourette's and a stutter who just stubbed his toe. The job market isn't the best here either, but if you're retired or work via the internet, the city is ideal. Now, the good news is if you work in transportation, Pocatello is known as the gateway to the Northwest, and it's pretty much a transportation hub. So if you're in that field, a solid place. The median home price in Pocatello is $135,500. Number five, Mountain Home, Idaho. Mountain Home is a great place to live, has an Air Force base about 20 minutes outside of town, and has its fair share of Air Force personnel, both past and present, living there. This town is in the middle of miles and miles of farmland, and it's a great place to start a family. With an affordable housing market and a low cost of living, it's sort of a no-brainer if you want a nice, quiet life that's affordable. The schools aren't the best, but there are far worse places you can send your kids. Besides, with all the money you're going to save with cost of living and mortgage payments, you you could hire a tutor. In 2012, I had this bright idea to drive the Oregon Trail. I thought I'd do a section each year until I did the whole thing, drove it. The plan got scrapped after the first year, but the first year I made it as far as Mountain Home. And it was a nice little drive. I ate at a place called Taco John's. It was really good. I hope the place is still there. Anyway, the median home price in Mountain Home is $132,400. Number four, Blackfoot, Idaho. I've never been to Blackfoot, Idaho, but statistically it looks pretty good. I had a co-worker at Nike who grew up there. Great story, kind of sad, but it worked out, so it's kind of good. His dad worked for his grandfather who owned an auto repair place in Idaho Falls. He said his grandfather started suffering from dementia and would take off his clothes on hot days and start working on cars in full view of everyone. So they decided it was time to shut down the shop and let him retire. They moved to Blackfoot for the lower cost of living and so his grandpa could go fishing and retire. No word if he ever started fishing in the buff. Now, Blackfoot has a lot of good. They got a little crime and the schools could do better, but the cost of living is cheap and the houses are really cheap. The median home price in Blackfoot is $121,500. Number three, Caldwell, Idaho. Caldwell is part of the Boise metro area, and it's a very nice place to live overall. The crime rates are extremely low in this area, and life tends to move a lot slower than other places around the country. What I like about this one is you're not out in the sticks. When you start getting into the really inexpensive homes, it normally comes with a little crime, bad schools, or it's out in the boondocks and nobody wants to live there. They only come up short in one stat, really. Caldwell isn't setting any records in education. But they have a low cost of living and it won't cost you an arm and a quadricep to buy a house here. The median home price is $113,000. $113,000. That's great. Now remember, these numbers are averages. I probably should have said this earlier. I like to give that disclaimer. And I'm sure more than a few people have already left a comment about how their home costs millions and millions. Let it go. We're talking averages here. Number two, Emmett, Idaho. Originally called Emmettville, it was basically a post office named after Emmett Callahan, the son of Tom Callahan, an early settler in the area. A few years later, they dropped the ville, and the post office in town simply went by Emmett. In 1900, the town was incorporated as Emmett. Later, in March of 1902, the Idaho Northern Railroad came to the valley, and so did all the people. Currently, they're listed at about 6,500 residents, but they are estimated to be closer to 75 in the 2020 census. We'll find out when that's done. This is a small town that is growing. The cost of living is very, very low in Emmett, and the home prices are even lower. This one has the potential to start growing faster, so the prices will rise when that happens. But right now, it's dirt cheap to live here, and it's not a bad little town. They have a little canal that goes right through town. It's kind of cool. I watched a video about Emmett, and an older gentleman said that he used to work in a building right next to the canal, and it made him want to pee every day. The average home goes for about 110000 in Emmett. That, like I said, is pretty cheap. And you get to live near a canal 
now that makes you pee. What's not to love? And number one, Rupert, Idaho. Rupert, Idaho is located in southern Idaho between Pocatello and Twin Falls. It's got a population of about 5,600 and the median age is about 30. So the place is filled to the rim with millennials. A lot of coffee drinking's going on there. When you look at the stats, the only thing that's bad here would be the schools. They're not good at all. But when you got a town filled with a bunch of millennials, who needs schooling? That generation is a bunch of know-it-alls. They'll tell you how it is. The median home price in Rupert is 97000 you could buy a home for under a hundred thousand dollars and this town is not bad it's kind of cute it's kind of nice not a lot of bad things are going on here and the cost of living is pretty low and the homes are dirt cheap why not all right so that's my video i hope you guys enjoyed it hope you got some information out of it if you enjoyed the video and you like what we do here please feel free to subscribe give the video a thumbs up tell me what you thought let me know if you think i missed one but this one really went by the numbers so yeah Anyway, everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other. <laughs>